Okay guys, so today is the day of that charity event, volunteer, celebration, gift given, whatever, ceremony, event, situation. Okay, I'm saying event situation a lot. Today is the day of the event. I've actually just gotten back. My face is like sweat off because I was dancing there was a dance floor and I was definitely dancing I couldn't really vlog there because like I said this is a Christian organization and I don't know half of these volunteers and I do not want to be putting a camera up in their faces when I barely even know half their names because I only volunteer at this organization on Tuesdays in the evening once a week for an hour an hour and a half tops so i don't get to meet everybody and i don't get to see everybody because i only volunteer once a week it was fun it was more than i expected i really expected i didn't expect much but it was nicely decorated nice music nice people people were actually dancing on the dance floor they gave out lots of like celebrative gifts to people who have been volunteer for years, people who are like, you know, they're there consecutively like seven days a week, five days a week. They gave gifts to people for their specific work in certain areas and different ministries. It was a good ceremony and celebration of volunteers. I was happy to see my director, the director of the program. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed myself. I sweat my makeup off. <laughs> I was running to the bathroom constantly like, oh my gosh, my face is sweating off, but eventually you just have to enjoy yourself. There was lots of kids on the dance floor. I ended up wearing, my apartment is a mess and I don't really want to show you guys too much, but I ended up wearing like this like periwinkle sweat. Okay, so I ended up wearing this little outfit with my shirt a little open. It's this like very like knitted material with like puff sleeves and I opened up the button. You can see that I was sweating. I opened up the buttons just so that it wasn't too, you know, and then I just opted for these jeans. I added a few little rings and re my nail. I actually redid my nails. Look how cute these are. These are Ahura nails. They're like gel press-ons that you have to cure underneath like a blue light and I wore I wore these ego brown shoes they're not too high they're about a three inch heel they just look like that and I wore that with this bag here just to like pull in the color of the shoes a little bit so it was a cute little outfit a cute little moment red lip because a pop of red why not and yeah that was the outfit so I really didn't get to wear that dress I did like a minimal makeup situation oh gosh you guys are really close so I went for like minimal makeup and like a high pony and these like silver hoops that I've I've had these hoops for years now I don't even remember I probably got them on Shein or something like that and I went for like a half lash I actually bought a whole bunch of these um full lash from Ardell this thing's this thing look yeah I just cut the sides off and just did like a little corner lash just because I didn't want my eyes to look too full and I didn't want to look like I'm doing too much you know but I am so glad that my dress did not fit and that I did not wear it because it was not that kind of event even though I thought that I would be completely extra it was just still not that kind of event for a whole butterfly dress because everybody up there was wearing jeans like very casual with just a little a little extra you know so I'm glad I didn't wear that dress and I'm glad that I probably have somewhere to wear that dress to Hopefully, I don't want to give too much away, but just think live music. So that would be more fitting to wear that dress because I really want to like wear that dress. I really want to have somewhere to wear that dress because that would be so cool if I had somewhere to wear that dress with or two. That would be amazing because that dress is cute. It's not the most designed with like attention to detail it's a mass-produced dress but it's cute and since i did pay for it i want to at least wear it right or send it back whichever one but i'm i'm pretty happy with how my hair and makeup came out on this day and i think this is my new favorite color oh my gosh i'm so hot look look at that sweat this periwinkle on my skin oh my god what <laughs> 
What? She's cute. <laughs> I'm being extra, of course, because why not? Why not be extra? Maybe not too much. I like to see myself. <laughs> In 1080. <laughs> I'm literally on nothing. This is Sadia. Like I said, this was a Christian event. There was no liquor or alcohol, sparkling water for ya. And I did not have anything because I'm on keto, I'm intermittent fasting, and I'm not going to eat or drink just because I'm at a party. I'm very strict with my diet, especially because a couple days ago while I was away on work, I had to eat carbs and it just, like, I can see the difference. I can see how my body reacts to carbs now versus, like, before keto and i'm telling you carbs it does not work with my body it blows me up it just makes my belly just get bloaty it doesn't feel good in my body and i don't know how i've been how i was eating carbs for so long without realizing that it just doesn't work for me it worked for me in the past because i had more muscle mass on me but now that i have a lot of body fat it is just not the steez for me honey i need to just cut out carbs completely out of my diet until i build enough muscle to break that shit down like real quick because okay but i mean i don't know how i got to carbs man i was talking about what was i talking about i was talking about my personality that this is just one part of my i'm a multi-dimensional being like you will never be able to pin me down to any one personality first of all i'm a classically trained actress and i was an actress before i was classically trained one <laughs> Two, I'm Jamaican, okay? Three, Miss Marion Rockley Francis raised me, okay? And Miss Nicole Grant Brown, so, excuse me. You're gonna get it, like, I'm every woman, okay? So, <laughs> I'm really feeling myself and I'm feeling cute and I wanna show you guys how cute I feel how cute i look in my dirty apartment yeah but i'm going to try and get some help from my apartment to like clean my apartment because i'm going to be getting busier doing more stuff like business wise and and i need help and i can't do it all by myself but if you did not see how cute my nails are let me show you again <laughs> because the Ahor the Aurora Ahora I can never pronounce their name correctly but their nails keep working out for me girl keep working out for me I'm trying to grow my nails because I used to have long nails right and I came to America and then my nails just stopped growing thick they grow thin and brittle and I've I've been wondering like how can I try to find like an angle where I look cute there I've been wondering how can I like grow my nails again and just look fabulous because my nails just grow brittle they break easily I don't know what to do I mean I'm taking better care of them lately but I've, I've taken biotin for months on end nothing work I don't know if I need to take like another kind of mineral or vitamin with biotin so that it can be activated I don't know if my i was just lacking biotin for a long time and now i need to just stack up i don't know what the situation is but my nails is just not doing it for me and my hair i i just need to focus on my nails and my hair so that i can grow my hair to a longer length and so that i can like grow my nails i used to have long nails like long natural nails like that used to grow pretty thick thick enough to grow that length and i just i just have not been growing my nails that length anymore and for years that has been the case so that's something that i want to work on my nails and my hair on my head primarily there's a lot of different like curly hair routines and processes that I want to start implementing into my hair care because I feel like my hair has kind of been stunted a little bit because I'm not paying enough attention to it so for the next quarter of this year I really want to put some attention into my hair and really really like 
love on my hair but I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys that you know I couldn't vlog I really wanted to vlog the event because it was really nice and I got to see my best friend be uh, worker be at the event and that made it better for me because <laughs> um, I'm not like the shyest person in the world sometimes sometimes I am but when I'm around like people that I don't know I'm just a little like I like to just stick around the people that I know when I when there's a room for my full of people that I don't know. I'd rather to stick around somebody that I know and then like, you know, interact with people as they come or as I get inspired to talk to them. But I don't like to stand by myself and just you know, just stand by myself and not talk to anybody or feeling like I don't have any friends there. And I'm just a loner. So I just wanted to come on here and just say hi. I'm cute today. I'm cute today. Can talk to me because I'm cute today. I am. I really wanted my, my makeup to look a little less like Kayton and just more minimalist, but I think it came out great. My bronzer came off my forehead because I was tapping it and I was sweating. So if you hear a sound, I'm I'm literally holding on to my little fan that I used to cool down my computer so that's that sound for you but okay I'm gonna come off here hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it is Thursday and I'm up I'm ready I have a few errands to run well I have like four errands to run all the way downtown and then all the way up to North Hollywood so I'm going to be out of the house for most of the day but I had an order a huge order from Amazon that came in and I just wanted to share some of the stuff that I got just because Sharon is caring and because I'm going to be out of the house and I have not picked up my vlogging camera in over a week I decided that okay I'm going to show you guys what I got and just have a little quick chat before I rush out to run my errands so let's head to the kitchen I made a huge amount Amazon order because I needed a few things and I don't know if you girlies yeah my dishes are clean I'm just checking to see if it's clean over there and things are in check because I don't want to be going on camera with dirty dishes in my sink and stuff you know but I did do the dishes this morning so I am not telling on myself or doing any of that I'm actually I'm actually a good girl today let me let me set up this tripod and get back to you guys okay guys so huge Amazon order huge Amazon order I I already opened this but I have not taken out anything from inside there so let's see what I got so first thing I see is some always because I am a pad girl. There's no way things are going to be coming out and I'm putting things in. I don't get that logic. I like to feel padded up. So I stopped up on this. This is the brand that I use. Is it sustainable? No, but this is what I use until I transition into something more sustainable. Okay, so I got a new robe because my old robe was not camera ready aesthetics and I really wanted to get something that I could shoot content in. My old robe, I'll still keep it. It has lots of sentimental value and uh, it was actually given to me by my previous partner before he left. And so it has that, ooh, this is thick like my current robe. I think this is Turkish cotton, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's 100% Turkish cotton and it's from Classic Turkish Towels. I think I got an extra large in this. This is huge. Oh wow. This is going to wrap me. I think I got a too big of a size, but I'm gonna keep it because more material for me. This is nice. Let me show you my, my current robe. My current robe, I will not get rid of this. I'll probably use this all day and use this just to be on screen. My current robe, I had some laundry mishaps with my blooming solution to whiten it and then I also get like this dark spot around the collar and sometimes on camera that does not look good but I, I'm gonna use this for every day and whenever I'm going on camera I will use this because this has so much more value to me and I love this my partner gave it to me so I got that to shoot some beauty content in because oops and it came with one of these Came with a nice long it's basically the same material just this one just feels more new but i think it's the same like turkish material because they're literally the same quality and then i got well, i think this is like 
uh, fork for my office area. Well, I just got one of these for my office area um, because I just have one plug next to my desk and sometimes I need multiple things to be plugged in like my desk light, my um, fan, my ring light and some other bits especially the, the my little tiny fan that cools down my computer. So I just got this one. This one's from Tessin and it has three USB ports up top which is great for my little my computer desk fan and then it has four which can plug in my desk light, my computer, my fan and something else. So that is amazing. Then I got some, I had to get some of these for my nails. I just want to start taking care of my nails better. As you can see, some of my um, press-ons like fled the crime scene. So don't ask me. I've seen them around the, on the floors, just around the apartment, just hanging out, being like, mm, are you going to pick us up? No, I'm not. So I got a little nail care kit because you guys do not want to see my current buffer. The current state of my only like um, buffing block that I currently have is just, it's a no. It doesn't do anything for my nails, which is why these came off because the nail bed was not filed to perfection. And if it's not filed to perfection, those stick-ons are not going to stick to my nails. So I had to get um, some files down here and some button blocks and what was important for me to get were these um, Well, not all of these but just I needed new clippers because currently my my nail clipper is just it's just not it so Having one of these girl. Mm, it just gets into that cuticle. Look, I have a hanging cuticle right now. Ooh Oh my gosh, that's so sharp. It just took it off real nice and clean nice so i needed one of these to get in there and just take out that dead skin oh my god that is sharp and fresh and it has that little that little thing in the middle that kind of you can do that it's like a oh my gosh i'm lost for words these things happen so that it came with three files at the bottom what's this six buffing block and then like a multi-sided buffing block these never really work for me like I don't even use them but another um, nail brush which is great I needed this I needed to upgrade my little kits because some of the stuff are just old and then I also got, because I'm on my nail care journey, I got like a gel nail set. I got this one from Modelones. 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 Okay, I don't know how to say that. But it's just a nail kit from this like company. Um, you get the base coat, the top coat, and the matte top gel. I thought this was a, a really good starter kit for nail for gel nail polish. I had a gel nail set which is still in storage in Maryland somewhere. I wanted to try gel nails to see if that could help me like preserve the length of my nails and just you know try to grow my nails again because I just. I just haven't been able to grow my nails, so I'm really wanting to do that, so I, I did that. Okay, so that's all I got in this box. I have a few more block boxes coming, which I may put into this vlog, and if not, it will be in the next vlog, so stay tuned, but I'm going to make some... I'm gonna make a smoothie, put on my sneakers because I'm just gonna be comfortable today and head out the house to run all these errands before six because I also have an event later this evening. It's not like an event event, it's just like a live music situation which I want to go to perform at. And I may take you guys, I may just do like a phone vlog situation because I don't wanna be walking around with my camera, if you know what I mean. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I am back home. The glow is glowing, girl. I'm looking a little shiny, but it's okay, it's okay. Oh, my plant is not looking so well. I hope it's gonna be okay. I see that the watercolor is like not purifying itself lately, as well as the potato is deflating. 
so I'm not sure if that means that the potato is dying which means the plant is going to die because all the nutrients is coming from both the water and the potato I don't know oh my contour line seems a little bit hard on my face just now I don't know if you guys can see that but hopefully it'll be okay because all I'm gonna do is refresh my face for it later on so guys <laughs> I know I'm like babbling on, I'm like back and forth because my brain is fried. But I did get the rest of my order from Amazon and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. So I thought we could just get into that and just like sharing is caring. So let's get into that. I'm not sure if I am like way too bright. The reflection of my ring light is showing up in this. So please do bear with me but I have a lot to unpack, so let's get into it. This is quite the load, and it's a little heavy, but I need to mark out my address because let's not do that. Trying to mark out your address while editing is, it's just so much work. It's, it's a tedious process, so I just have to, you know, do this so that I don't, don't have to do that in edit editing because I know I don't want to do that during editing. So I'm going to want this to give myself a little bit of backlight. See what's in here. I hope the lighting is good. Okay, so in here I got my favorite moisturizer because this is all I use on my skin. I use it on my body and face sometimes. This is a really good facial moisturizer and you get a lot. This can, if you need a moisturizer to like lock in moisture in your skin, you can definitely use this. I've been using this for 10 plus years. Trust me, this is really good. I love this. I've probably been using it for more than that because I've been using this since I was 15 and I got two of those. I normally get the bigger one, but I saw that there was a deal on the smaller one. So yeah, I think the other size up is like a 20 ounce. I normally get the 20 ounce, but there was a deal. I took the deal and I have two 16 ounces. Not bad. Yeah, I came home and changed into my pajama shorts just to be comfortable. So if you can see my shorts, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be like, you know, inappropriate or anything like that. Okay, so I got myself some Epsom salt because girl, these knees, these ankles, these feet, they be doing me dirty, okay? So I decided to get some of this to soothe my body and you guys know already that I love baths. I make weekly spiritual baths. I take baths up to three times a week sometimes, sometimes more, sometimes less, but I love baths so I need my Epsom salt to soak in and heal that body. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a 24 grit silicone ice tree and bin set. Ooh, I thought this was going to be bigger. I needed like an ice tree for my fridge because I just don't have anything to put ice in and I, my fridge does not make ice and so I needed something to put it in. This one, I thought this was, was going to be at least this long but this is what this one looks like. It comes with like a silicone tray and ooh, it comes with a scooper and the bin and it's just to like, you know, have ice on deck and I love to have ice on deck because California is hot, especially in the summertime and I need ice to cool things down to make drinks, I need ice. And I'm going to order a mini AC and it uses ice so I also needed this for that because I need a mini AC, I, I just do, I, I do, I just can't do it. Okay, so now we have like the big package. Oh, am I trying to kill myself? What's going on here? What's going on here? Am I trying to kill myself? Oh, I thought something else was coming, but I literally just got like a big <gasps> container. A big one. I think this is what eight pounds of um, magnesium salt flakes to soak my body because I, I love baths. I'm a bath connoisseur or a bath enthusiast and I, I gotta stack up on my stash. Next time I'll get a big one of this like that but this time I just got this the scent because I've never tried the elderberry, the black elderberry so I want to try to see how I feel about that. And then, what else do I 
else is in here? Oh, a gel nail polish. Ooh, I love this one. This one looks kind of like milky nude. I might show you guys a photo of what it looks like right here. And so I got this to, like I said, care for my nails because they're, they weren't able to grow. This one is from Alyssa. Gel Soak Off UV LED Doored Nail. And the color looks like that. The color is GB07 or Alyssa Jelly Milk White. That's what it's called. And this expires in 2025, July 31st, 2025. Okay. Well, let's see how these nails look because look how they're currently looking. I have most of my nails on this hand and then like, what's going on? I, I need, I need something. Can't be walking around looking crazy. So yeah, that's all I got from, I, ha I actually have some more boxes coming, but I don't want this vlog to be just me opening boxes like it's an unboxing of something i don't so i like i said i do have like, an event to go to tonight it's not an event it's it's an open mic and I, I want to perform i haven't performed live in years i love live music i love performing live i am a performer if you don't already know i'm a singer songwriter actress humanitarian what else beauty enthusiast bath connoisseur player of music on the guitar and on the keys just a little bit still learning food enthusiast vegan food enthusiast now keto vegan food enthusiast and i'm just loving this journey of becoming and i really want to make it very clear to the universe that i'm ready to pursue my music career full fledged and i'm just taking all the steps to you know make that noise make that sound and push myself to be out there i do write my own original music and it's very esoteric, very surrealist, very ethereal, very soulful, kind of neo soul, kind of Lana Del Rey, but not. I don't know how to explain it. You, you, you'll just have to wait for it to manifest in its fullness and in its glory. And just buy my album when I drop it. Buy my album. That's it. So I'm going to do a little bit of phone vlogging for that. I have my meal prep on the stove heating up. I'm going to have that, make myself a salad. And then I'm going to do my evening processes, which is my evening meditation, chanting, five minute journal, and you know, a little bit of reflection. And then I'm going to put on, refresh myself, change my shirt, put back on those very uncomfortable jeans and possibly some heels and head to that open mic and Hopefully I get a spot. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys. Well, I'll get some clips off the open mic and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. See you guys soon. Okay guys, so I am ready for the road. <laughs> I refreshed my makeup, I changed my outfit. Initially, I was going to wear the outfit that I wore to the event the other day. But I decided against it because my legs were rubbing in those pants. They, they were not passing my little thigh gap. I don't have a thigh gap anymore. But you know that big, the biggest part of your thigh that kind of just rubs. And I was like, I want to be comfortable. So there's a little bit of mess on the chair there. Don't worry. Those are like donation pile and my computer and just like my outfit today so don't worry about that but i decided to wear this dress tonight i wanted to show you guys my outfit i don't know where to put the camera maybe i'll put it right there i just wanted to show you guys my outfit for tonight This is what I've decided to wear. I'm wearing some leggings underneath of it, some Fabletic leggings underneath of it, just so that my legs, just so that my legs just help me and not, you know, completely wreck in. Cause I want to be able to get up early tomorrow and walk and I don't want to have just discomfort in my legs. So this is the outfit. I am wearing my, I think this was a H&M bag. I'm just wearing this cute bag here. It has some flowers on it. You know, my vibe. It's a little bit big, but I'm gonna be wearing my Nike sneakers, my Nike Airs, and some netted socks with frills on them. I'm gonna show you the socks because they're so cute. It's the same socks that I actually got when I made that sheet in order. I've decided on these socks. Cute, right? I'm going for very cute and casual on top and then rustic on the bottom. I'm definitely wearing my Nike Airs. Those are the, the sneakers that I train in and work out in and do 
all that, but girl, girl, I need my legs, which is why I got Epsom salt and magnesium salt flakes because I've been having pain in my legs. So I'm going to save myself from heel problems tonight and just wear something comfy and casual because it's not like a dressy event. It's a very much casual event. So I think I'm right on with the, the dress code. So I'm going to like get ready, put on my shoes and get going and I'll see you guys there. I'm not gonna take my vlog camera, but I will take some footage with my phone and hopefully I can have my performance recorded so that I can show you guys just a little hint of what Saudi has to offer the world okay so I'll see you guys in a moment and bye guys I'm back home <laughs> and I am looking like like a grease ball look at all of that like grease on me oh my gosh it's it's really bad I'm thinking maybe I should pat my face maybe I should pat my face because this is looking a little bad so let's Pat our face a little bit just to get rid of some of this oil. I've had these oh shine eraser sheet for, for forever. I barely ever use them, but I used them earlier to get rid of the shine and look at that. Look at that. It literally gets rid of the shine and leaves just the glow. I mean, I've had these for years. I use them sparingly because I also have another another one from another brand. I don't know which which brand it is. Don't really take notice of it, but this one from Elf is really good as well. But yeah, I'm back, guys. I took videos. I'm back. I'm sweaty. I walked home because it was literally 0.8 miles from here. It was only like a 20, 25 minutes walk. And I did not go on my early morning walk this morning. So I thought, let me just walk home and get this workout in, right? And I did. Let me just pick up my gum because nobody wants to talk to somebody who has gum in their mouth just chewing on by. Guys, let me tell you, I performed live for the first time in about 10 years, okay? It felt amazing. It felt good. <sighs> I was having, I was starting to have a little bit of nervousness, but I had to talk myself out of it because divas don't get nervous, okay? And if we do, we just swallow that and just like carry on because ain't nobody got time for nerves, okay? It's time to perform. So I had one of the girls that were there to help me like video myself and I'm going to insert a clip of my performance. Um, I did not have any accompaniment. I literally just sang a cappella and i did a medley of my songs like some of my favorite songs that i've written myself and i'm going to like after i'm done i'm gonna let you guys hear what i did and then i'm also going to put you guys on to some of the other artists that was there why am i using those two was and were interchangeably like what what what's up with my english i am the english lady but guys my dress hit my dress was okay that that's not the that's not the most flattering angle let me see let's put you guys on here guys the dress hit i got compliments on the dress let me cover my folds i got compliments on the dress guys those are stuff that i got today so just just don't look at that don't mind that don't worry about it just look at me look at me focus focus okay the dress hit tonight okay it was glistening under the lights i wore sneakers just to be comfortable my songs were amazing <laughs> written by sadia <laughs> And um, I was very proud of myself because I held it together. Let me wind you guys up. Yeah, I was very proud of myself because I held it together and I did an amazing job. So I'm going to let you guys just watch that in the next clip over there. Have a good night. I'm, I will catch you guys in the morning. So I'm going to do a medley of um, a few of my original songs. Hope you like it.
Sometimes I wonder who am I? Sometimes I wonder who am I? Yes, cause I'm up, I'm down, I'm round and round and he Sometimes I wonder who